What is up everyone, Bo here from BZ Hub. We're playing Fishing Planet. As you can tell, we're on Emerald Lake. It's uh, it's not raining this time, at least. Um, we have increased our fishing catch limit. I guess we're now at 66 pounds, which uh, is, is good. More fish equals more money, money. We have uh, minnows, let's go. Minnows, there are the minnows. Um, and we're gonna cast this puppy out so that we can uh, get some fish. Get some fish on the old uh, fishing thing. So just to remind everyone, uh, we are fishing for chain pickerel and sauger. We still need to get a chain pickerel, still need to get a sauger. And so those are gonna be the two big ones today, but we'll see what we're able to catch, I guess. Oh, are you kidding me already? That was quick. Probably increase the drag a little bit. He's not super big. Oh, he's fighting now. He's fighting now. Get in here, bro. Oh, he says, no way, I'm going. I'm going, you can't take me. He is fighting like crazy. Just get in here, bro. Look at that. Good sized walleye, over 400. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Let's go. Keep that. Mofo. I hear a tired puppy outside. <laughs> Dang treat. Okay, let's toss this back out here so we can uh, continue fishing. So, um, by the way, something I've been doing on Emerald Lake, if you're not, if you're noticing that there's not anyone around me, you know, taking up spots on the dock or anything like that, it's because I chose not to do a random room, but a private room. And so uh, there's not going to be anyone on here unless I invite them into it. And so that's something you can do if you ever get into um, a lake or, you know, a fishing area or something and your favorite spot is taken up by some goon like I do, like take up a spot and then no one else can fish there. Um, you can just go into your menu here, go to your map, go down to rooms here, and then you can click whatever you want to do. Um, so like I said, I'm doing the private room. We have a fish again. Like in that awkward, like, I want to increase the drag area, but I don't want to stress it out too much. Look at that. It's starting to get in the red there. They are fighting a lot more today, I feel. Here we go. <gasps> oh, every time I get them in, I think to myself, oh, he's a little, he's a different color. He's a different color. But no, another wild one. <laughs> Which I can't argue about. $450 is $450, you know what I mean? Ooh, already got one. It's the narrow spoon. It's something, it's it's obviously something else. Of course, it's kind of hard to remember what, like, is good drag on this reel. I know that I was reeling in, like, the little, like, 1.4 pound, 1.5 pound spotted bass pretty simply um, at this drag setting, so that kind of gives you a little bit of size comparison. Here we go. Here we go. Another walleye, $400 on the dot, 3.096. So we can kind of think about that as that three pounds equals four hundred dollars level 17 right on we got the half ounce uh spinner there larger hook you got the number three ought hook there so a bit bigger than the hook we're using now that that should be good maybe get some larger fish here we go got him got him hooked got him hooked get in here bro there we go Another walleye, 342. Yeah, I could, I could tell. I could tell it was going to be smaller than that 400 walleye that we've been catching. You know what? The time before that I had trouble catching a fish, it's because I needed to read some of the description here. Let's go into the uh, sauger first. Sauger, okay. Freshwater persiform fish of the Perchidae family, which is... Widely distributed in North America, particularly from the northern U.S. up into southern Canada, sauger mostly like to inhabit deep and quiet backwater areas of large rivers. Similar to walleyes, these fish can be distinguished by their cone-like bodies. Cone is impossible to land a unique specimen weighing up to 12 pounds. It is, it is possible. Feed on a variety of invertebrates and other small fish. Okay, so good deal. They both get caught on leeches. So it sounds like. Whereas the walleye likes to stay in deeper water, the sauger kind of likes to go into little 
deep and quiet backwater areas. Okay, so that goes out through there, but this goes into over here. So it makes you wonder if we'd catch a sauger more out that way. Are you getting bored? It says it's getting hot in here, Dad. I don't want to be in here anymore. It uh, it was like freezing yesterday, and then I uh, woke up this morning, and I was like, okay, time to go on a run. Looked outside, or looked at my wet my weather, and it was like 30 degrees. And I was like, no, you were supposed to be warm today. It was supposed to be like 50 something in the morning. Instead, it was in the 30s, and I was like, no. Ooh, there we go. Got something there. He grabbed that. He grabbed that. Come on. Oh no, we got some on both of them now. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Come on, you. Walleye? Ah. Cool. Perfect timing. No. Oh. Surfaced. Surfaced. Come on, you. Oh, he's starting to, he's starting to, I got more fighting me. I got more fighting me. I can do it. <laughs> no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, this dude all of a sudden has tons of fight in him right at the last couple of feet. Trophy walleye. There we go. $500. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. I love trophy walleye. Does say it's sunny outside though, so I don't know. Maybe we should switch to a gold. Maybe we should switch to a gold lure. Especially with the the pickerel and the pike and whatnot. You know, that use a lot of sight. Probably really help if we use the right color. These fish that um take a bit longer to bring in, they they are uh there's something else. It probably only gets worse and worse as you get to larger fish, too. But that's cool. I'm game. Another good-sized walleye here. $417. That's good. That is sweet. I was gonna wait till day two to do this. But I really, really... want to take this out. Oh my gosh, look at this. What do I do? Oh, I just go... F okay, so it's normal. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, so we can get tired. Okay, I see how it works. I see how it works. Let's uh, look at this. So, I kind of want to fish this back area that I haven't been able to get to very easily. It would be cool if we could, like, go out to this rock and then, like, get out. That would be cool. Oh, right on. We can do this. Where are we right now? We can go ashore. Wow. Wow. My mind is blown right now. This chain picker has been causing us a lot of freaking trouble. We've got quite a few of them over in the Mudwater River, but we just haven't been very lucky fishing here. Row your kayak using the oar to complete the Captain Rower Challenge. Oh my god, we did that. Ooh, here we go. There we go. First fish on the kayak. Oh my god, it's pulling us. Oh, <laughs> it jumped into the freaking kayak. It's a grass pickerel. That is so awesome. The kayak actually started moving towards the fish because the fish was pulling us. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. I'd love to say that I've been destroying them on this kayak, that I've been reaching out to places that uh, I wasn't able to reach to before, and now I'm destroying them. But no, this that was like the first fish I've caught in the fat past like 20 minutes or something. Ooh, and we got another one. What the heck? We're destroying them now. What is it? Chain pick roll. Ah, another grass pickerel. I saw these logs over here, it reminded me of Mudwater River, and I was like, yeah, maybe we'll catch something over there. Ooh, what the heck? Three in a row! We had a dry spell for so long, and now I'm just getting them one after another. A redfin pickerel! Look at this guy! 
Can we can we see? Does it look different when he's on the uh, kayak? Not too not too much different, does it? <laughs> he now looks. Oh, he's trying to bite he now. <laughs> he. Why do you always look like you're mad? You always look like you you're despising the fact that you're out fishing. Why you always look so mad, he now? Look happy. You caught fish. <laughs> oh my god. Three fish in a row. Can we make it four? Oh, it's pulling us. <laughs> Looks like another grass pick roll from the look of it. I think uh, I think we can put our... Uh, oh, jeez. It is really pulling us. It is really pulling us. <laughs> oh. I th there is a button to put the anchor down, but uh, I'm kind of enjoying just like catching these fish and letting them pull us around. It's so cool. God, is it going to tip us over? This must be a really big fish. I mean, honestly, it is pulling us like crazy right now. Could it be a pike? Because you'd think with even with it pulling us, it doesn't mean the line's going out, but the line is going out. It's getting tired now. It's getting tired now. Hold on, he knew. Hold on, he knew. Goodness gracious, this thing. Holy crap. I'm increasing the drag a little bit. Ooh, that was too much. It worried me. This is a big fish. It has to be has to be. It's 18, 16, 13, 12, 11. We got the ch and it's a trophy chain picker. Oh my god. Oh my god. We finally catch a chain pickerel and it is a monster 25 inches long. Holy crap. That's longer than this ruler. That's longer than this entire ruler. I can't even fit it in the frame. That's how it's longer than this. This is a big fish. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Let's take let's take a look at this guy. There we go. I think I got a couple there. Let me make sure. Personal record chain pickerel. Oh my gosh. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. And we did catch it on the kayak, so it wasn't a bad idea to get on the kayak. It all worked out. It all worked out, everyone. We did okay. Okay, so I am going to do something a bit ballsy here. Um, I know that if we switch to 8 o'clock... Is it 8 o'clock or is it... So 8 o'clock is not going to be good, but 9 o'clock, starting at 9 o'clock is going to be nighttime, and then it's going to be really good from 9 o'clock over till basically 11 o'clock, and then it starts dipping down. I'm really hoping that at nighttime we'll have a better chance of getting a sauger. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, it is nighttime on Emerald Lake. Let's see if we can nail ourselves a sauger. It's actually the clearest it's been all day. Kayak definitely came through for us when it came to... Uh, ooh, we nailed something! Definitely came through for us when we uh, caught that chain pickerel. But uh, since then, we haven't caught a sauger or a walleye. Here we go, it's getting close to us now. Right on the tip of the kayak. Get in here, bro. Oh, I can reach out and grab you right now. What do we get? Ah, oh, trophy walleye! $600! Oh my gosh, not as big as our other walleye we caught the other day. But uh, this dude is, is a freaking toad. I actually do think we're too close now. We need to back up. Throw all the way over there now. Let's uh, drop anchor here. All right, we're anchored into the to the ground. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. Ooh, 
got one right at the very end. I mean, we cast 190 yards out and then we caught one at 70. No way! We got the saw girl! Oh my god! <laughs> we did it! Oh my gosh! Oh, we completed the emerald trial on the purple, on the purple narrow spoon. That is sweet. Look how small the sauger is. Good deal, good deal. Finally caught the sauger. And that's gonna complete the trial. Got the emerald trial, got the, the two inch shad. We got the two inch shad, we got $1,300. Oh my gosh, good deal. And we still have a bunch of panfish we need to catch for Emerald Lake. Um, what do we get? Yeah, here. So black crappie, blunt nose minnows, golden shiners, common shiners, pumpkin seeds. We still need to catch all those. Um, find the night shift challenge. Oh, here we go. Okay. So here we go. Catch 10 fish after 9 p.m. And we're... Is that 6 out of 10? We've caught 6 fish so far? What? Okay, well... I mean, I don't understand the difference. Let's give it a try, though. We just need to catch a few more... We need to catch a few more fish, evidently. Ooh, there we go. We are catching them right at about 70 feet. That's the second one we've caught at 70 feet. Makes me wonder if this is another sauger. Because we reeled him in pretty easily. It is another sauger. New personal best. Right on. Right on. Alright, we're back on the dock again. We're going to throw out... Um, we're going to go back to uh, doing two pulls so that we can maximize our f fish catching here because we are we're going to run out of days here soon if we don't if we don't uh, catch the rest of our 66 pounds here. There we go. Got something here. What is it? It's a walleye. It's a $400 walleye. That was like nothing. There was no fight at all. Ooh, we got one. Come on. Oh no, we got two. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Had a nibble, but that was it. Ooh, there we go. There we go. This drag is pretty tight, and we're still not seeing a lot of, uh... You're there, that... With a lot of pressure on it. There, got kind of in the red. Come on, come on, get in here, bro. 2.75 pound, $355. Still a nice little walleye. That's gonna take us to 51 pounds, and challenge complete. Night nice shift one, catch a certain number of fish during night time. We did it, and that's gonna complete that mission as well. The Emerald Night Challenge, which unlocked the quarter ounce spoon, which is green and silvery, it looks like. We could give that a try, probably. Uh, $1,500 and one bay coin. Very nice there, very nice. What other missions are we gonna have here? Um, Emerald Exploration, I guess we still need to do. And I think that's gonna finish up Emerald Lake. Bjorn. It's gonna scare the fish. Here we go! Gosh dang it. <laughs> gonna catch the last fish. Bjorn is freaking going crazy outside at this guy walking by. Jeez Louise. Oh, he's coming towards us now. Ooh, ooh, pressure's going up though. There we go. Freaking three pound walleye, $400 right on the dot. That's gonna do pretty much everything that we can do for uh, Emerald Lake. We've been fishing during the day. We fished in a kayak. We caught a monster chain pickerel. We went to nighttime, caught a sauger. We had a trophy. We had a bunch of trophy walleye in the mix of it. Fantastic fishing. It has been fantastic on Emerald Lake. Let's keep this, but let's change the time to uh, to whatever it's going to be, so we can see how much money we're going to make. Close that out. Of course, it's raining. Eight thousand four hundred and sixty-nine dollars on Emerald Lake on our first day. Insanity. Insanity. 3,000 experience. Of course, it's on premium, but hey, that's pretty freaking amazing. Um, I'm having a ton of fun playing Fishing Planet, as you all know. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. And as always, keep gaming. Never stop.